We had uh, an interesting section looking at disease subtypes with relation to the treatment, the multidisciplinary uh, treatment. And we look at pathology, medical oncologist, surgery, radiation therapy. Uh, specifically looking at the possibility that uh, triple negative disease does not necessarily include all aggressive form of breast cancer, but also some form of the indolent that can be spared for more aggressive treatment, but need to be better evaluated with some molecular tests. Uh, we look at the more generic questions for uh, um, um, breast um, medical oncologists, what type of treatment will we use when we have property selects the subtype of triple negative that is uh, aggressive, specifically the basal-like or the immune type. And we touch uh, on a few treatments without going too much into details as some of the clinical trials have been run. The role of chemotherapy, the role of chemotherapy and neoadjuvant setting, the role of pathological response and how to interpret pathological response. Then we look at surgery, uh, in particular how to manage the axilla and the breast in the context of different subtypes, uh, looking at the role of surgery, breast conservative surgery, radiation sequence, uh, for example in uh, triple negative and ER positive, and there is no difference clearly on the impact of recurrence, particularly because we have effective uh, systemic therapy, how we can de-escalate the surgery and reduce the management of the axilla with less patients be treated with axillary dissection. And this was integrated also with radiation therapy. The de-escalation of radiation therapy in small tumor, small luminal tumor, treated sometimes with uh, abbreviated radiation even uh, during uh, the course of uh, doing the surgical management. So I think it gives an overview of uh, how the different specialty contribute to the the management of breast cancer in their own way, bringing their own expertise, and I think this is very important for everyone that manages uh, breast cancer patients.